Well, well, well. Who do we have here? An upstanding gentleman who I'm sure since the last time we saw this YouTube prankster, he has definitely learned his lesson at this point. He has realized the wrongs of his ways, and especially after a court proceeding, it would have shocked him and scared him maybe a little, so that he is prepared to go back into society as a more well-adjusted individual. So, I've yet to see this video, but I'm looking forward to, so let's do so. Not guilty. But, you know, we're going to continue the videos and keep it pushing. Is what it is. Is what it is. I just want to thank God that he's alive, and at the end of the day, you know, we respect what the jury says. Um, and my family... Well, yes. I mean, first of all, you have to respect what the jury say, because what they say is final. So, at least that's a good attitude. I assume this is the mother. I don't actually know who this is, but I assume she's the mother. So, let's see if she's going to knock any sense into her son. And I are just grateful and thankful that I have my son here. And nothing else matters right now. And that's, that's it. I want to thank the prosecutors, the Commonwealth prosecutors, uh, Miss Jones and uh, um, Eden Holmes. They did not... She's very professional. So... The impression I'm getting where I'm building up like this kind of backstory for these people, because as human beings, we're instinctually able to judge because it's part of evolution, you know, like growing up and sort of realizing, is this a threat? Is this not a threat? You need to quickly see. And the impression I'm getting, I could be completely wrong, is that this is probably a well-to-do family and he's a mischievous child and she's hanging in keeping control of things where her child has gone wrong. That's the impression I'm getting. So he's basically rebelling by being a dick because his parents are rich and probably didn't give him proper attention other than just things that, you know, like I said before in the other video, probably didn't get told no a lot. I know I'm judging and I don't know much, but it's instinctual. Outstanding job presenting this case and we couldn't have had it any better and regardless of the outcome you know the jury's the jury oh my god now i feel like i have to take my glasses off as well she was handling this so well she was like i respect the jury i respect the decisions i want to thank the prosecutor i want to be grateful for the opportunity to plead our case and and then he's just like whoa 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 hold up a minute I got this. Look at that face. It's so, <laughs> it's so good. It's like a skit, isn't it? He's got the shaded glasses and it's not even freaking that bright outside. That mouth, that face. What is this guy? He's coming back and he's like, oh, I can get some attention here. All right, let's see. Let's see what he's going to say. We don't know. We don't know what he's going to say yet. Let's find out. And we totally respect how our law plays out. And this was the outcome. Really? He hasn't even said anything yet. He's just totally taking the piss at this point. This is probably outside the court, I assume, right? So they've not even, like, gone very far. They're just outside the court. He's probably recently had an experience where he's had to deal very professionally with what can occur if you go wrong in society. And this is what he's taken from it so far. <laughs> come today, and we respect that. Oh, come on. He's full dick mode, isn't he? I get that he's a young kid, but he is not taking this seriously at all. Immediately, just like, oh. But he's doing it, taking a piss. It's very obvious. And then she's like trying to keep a smile. But at the same time, the hand gesture suggests that, look, let's calm this down. Let's walk away. Let's not make it worse than it already is. Let's go. Yeah, you see that little shoulder tap? That says it all. And then look at the smile on this guy. He gives zero fox. Yeah. Just real quick, um, just, uh, Tanner, you said you wanted to, what's your... 
Tana, what are you going to say? Message to the people who might have a question about your content itself. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll just have to keep watching. Oh, my gosh. What a stinger. He's got you reeled in for the next episode. I don't know. Just have to keep watching. The attitude on this guy is just something else, isn't it? So you'll continue to make videos? Yeah, probably. We'll see, you know? How disappointed are you about this? So I really don't care. Way. I mean, it is what it is. It's God's plan at the end of the day, so. Really? This is God's plan, is it? Did God decide that you were going to be a massive asshole? Did you not want to have a word with God about that and sort of say, Hey, God, you made me a massive asshole. What's the deal with that? What the per what's the purpose of this? I, I mean, there's always there's always a way and a wheel with God, right? So him being a massive asshole must have some divine purpose at some point in this guy's life. But we haven't probably got to that point yet. You know? And for you, Mom, how are you just, uh, as far as opinion about his content on YouTube? Do you agree with it? <laughs> I mean, that already says it all. Do you agree with it? And then there's just this clear hesitation there. She clearly obviously doesn't agree, but it's her son. So she's just like, boys will be boys at the end of the day. That's totally the impression I get here. She's holding this up. She's doing all the work, basically trying to quell the situation that her son has put put the family in, really. I just want to see that sort of moment again when he asks her the question. Is it loud enough for you guys? I can't make it any louder. I haven't got that YouTube thing. I need... What's the add-on that tells you... Um, amplify the YouTube videos? Because some YouTube videos are like super quiet. Some videos are way too loud. But I've got it on max volume here. ...opinion about his content on YouTube. Do you agree with it? I support Tanner in whatever he decides to do, and I'm going to continue supporting him. Yeah. How hard was it for you? Did you support him when he was aggressively pushing himself on that innocent dude that was minding his own business and didn't provoke anything whatsoever? Were you supportive of that? Because that was basically a response to him having the YouTube channel, creating this narcissistic situation in the first place, where he would get his friends to record him being an asshole to other people. Is that something you support? Because the guy was just like, do you support his YouTube channel? And she basically said yes. So it was kind of like a no comment type answer. I don't think she was really saying she supports the YouTube stuff, but it was like a bland answer that still suggests that, well, she did give zero fucks really. You to watch that video again. I know you had to step out. Yes. Um... That was the first time I seen the video. Um, no mom wants to see their son be shot by a complete stranger. That's true. Is there a but? But my son was out of line, putting that stranger in the position where he shot him in the first place. You realize there was a reason why that guy pulled the gun out and shot it. He didn't just casually turn up to Popeyes one day and was just like, oh. There's a big gentleman over there. I'm going to walk over there, pull my gun out, and just shoot him. In an occupied place, it was very shocking and um, very heart-wrenching, and that's why I, I, I had to step out. Last question. What's your message to Alan Coley? Oh, no. Are we playing the victim card here? Is she going to put on the waterworks? Something's coming. My family and I are just going to pray for his his and his family. And again, at the end of the day, if this this was God's will, this is we accept it. No, this wasn't God's will. God's got fuck all to do with this. You muppet. Why do people always use God as an excuse? It's so annoying. Like, if you choose to be religious and you believe in God, then fair enough. But separate church from state. This is nothing to fucking do with God whatsoever. And if it is then shouldn't you be questioning that more than anything? Thank you for being patient with us. Uh, Tanner, any message for Alan Coley? My last question to you. Uh, uh, 
Last question, because the door's about to open. This guy's about to walk out. Got to get that last question in. Let's go. No, a message. Just uh, try to find Jesus, though. I can't say that. Thank you. What did he say? Did he say try to find Jesus or something? Uh, no, a message. Just uh, try to find Jesus, though. I can't say that. Thank you. What did he say? I genuinely am not sure. Do you guys know? So if a five-year-old kid gets leukemia, that means it's God's will. Yeah, well, yeah, it's one of the obvious massive flaws upon millions of flaws. No offense to anyone if you are religious. I'm agnostic atheist, just so you know. So you want to be religious, you be religious. That's up to you. But that's on you. That's your sort of life. That doesn't get embarked upon other people's. And the same thing for me. I don't embark my... I don't have beliefs per se, but I don't embark them on other people. But yeah, you want to hear it one more time? Have a listen. Uh, no, a message. Just uh, try to find Jesus, though. I can't say that. I swear, yeah, try to find Jesus. Can't answer that. So it's just all about God for some reason. There's no actual accountability or responsibility because it was God's idea that this happened. It was God's plan. And uh, it's up to God, I suppose. Uh, why would I be responsible for my actions as a human being in society full of other human beings? It's up to someone up there, I guess. I, have, I guess they're the one that's uh, done all this. Thank you. Appreciate it. This guy so wants to just swear or something, doesn't he? He looks like, oh, Fuck, that was annoying having to deal with those twats. I just feel like that's just waiting until he gets enough distance and he'll say that to his mum. And his mum's like, yeah, yeah, all right. Now, let me buy you something. That was a really stressful thing that you went through. Let me find something to buy you. That's that's what I think is going to happen once they go like 50 more meters down that road. Well, if he had died, would his mum have said that it's God's will? I mean, I don't, I don't have to go down this path too much because... You can already, like, discount and disprove the logic behind sort of, like, believing God's will is responsible for anything that happens in the real world. Immediately. Like, within, like, the first millisecond, you can immediately disprove it. Because, well, by that logic, then, yeah, if a two-year-old kid or something like that gets something that kills them that they had no, no responsibility over and it wasn't their fault whatsoever, God just sort of decided that was a good idea, did he? Like, what, what, is that the God you want to believe in? Like, again, it just opens up more. Every little, as soon as you open that door, you open up a million other points that sort of contradict it. So, yeah, it's pretty much obvious. At least to me. Wait for it. <laughs> Wait for it. Yo, that was annoying. Yep, there we go. So there's our gentleman. Thank you very much there, guys, for the sub. What do you guys think? Do you think this Tanner, this he gentleman... Nap, he didn't do nothing wrong. Did he do nothing wrong? I think we've established he did something wrong, but did he learn from it? That's the question.